So this is this is a green iguana. That's what it's called, but it's orange, okay? And that's what happens when they reach maturity in Mexico. Now, I'm not really supposed to do this, but... Um, so what I want people to understand about this is that uh, they are herbivore, and they have eyes on the sides of their head because they're herbivores, okay? But you know what the coolest thing about an iguana is? You know what the coolest thing is about an iguana? Is they have a third eye on the top of their head, okay? And this happens with a lot of reptiles. So right in the middle of his head, between these two bumps, there's a little window that lets light into his brain. So that third eye is not optical, okay? It's just a window that lets light in the brain. And it, so they don't see a picture, but what they see is shadows. So I always tell children, Gabriel, do this. Gabriel, look. Gabriel do this. Close your eyes and Close look up eyes. at the sky. Look up at the sky. And you ever see John Cena? You go, like John Cena, you go say, can't see me. And you'll see the shadow that your hand makes as it blocks the sun. Mm -hmm. And that's what it looks like through that third eye. Anything uh. that blocks the sun casts the shadow. And so they call that a peridial eye. And that protects them from large birds of prey. Because, like, lizards have to watch out because things like hawks and eagles and osprey we have down here will come down and they'll grab them and eat them. Uh. So when they, that third eye helps protect them. So... Um, yeah, you can just see it, barely see it. Yep. yep. I would take them out so we can get a better look. And is that his ears, yeah, the big yeah. things on the side, the big yeah. round things? Yeah, those are like uh, jowls. Yeah, the males get, they get very big on the males and then the dewlap underneath. The dewlap. And they use that to, they use that to, to um, basically um, entice the females. Ah. It's a mating, they do the mating dance. Just like the ones down here, they put that right. yellow orange thing out. And then the tail, the scales, as they get bigger up their back, they use those for temperature control. So kind of the same idea as a radiator. But at the very end, they're more like a saw blade. They're very sharp and very rigid. And uh, so it's never safe to go up to a wild iguana because they do this whipping thing. They'll whip it at you and they'll oh, wow. cut your arm right over. So that's, why, that's how they will actually um, defend themselves. They'll whip you with the tail and cut you open. And then if you look at their long skinny fingers for grabbing the branches because they're tree dwellers. They hang out up in the trees and those will wrap, wrap around. Um, they don't have big fangs or anything, but they have these very little teeth that are very, very sharp. And they are herbivores, but these very, very sharp teeth are for cutting through vegetables and mashing them down. But for that reason, they also carry a lot of bacteria and like especially salmonella. So if you go after a wild one, you can get bit, and uh, it's like a bunch of little needles that'll go right into you, and it'll huh. cause a very bad infection. So never try to approach one in the wild, okay? A lot of people have them as pets. They're really nice. They let you hold them. They'll even let you pet them when they're tame, but in the wild, they could be very dangerous, so. Pretty cool, though, huh? Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Yep. You know what I also tell people is the eyes on the sides of their head, they actually can see about 355 degrees, almost all the way around them. They only, really only wow. have about five degrees blind spot. And then with that eye on the top of the head, they can see everything above them. So they're very well equipped to avoid predators.